39-32 The Holy Quran references Iblis, the first unbelieving jinn who tempted Prophet Adam and his wife Eve. May peace and blessings be upon them. Iblis' descendants and helpers that exist until this day are referred to as Shaytan or Shayateen in the plural form and are unbelieving, evil, and rebellious jinn. The religion of jinn is the same as the religion of men. Individual jinn follow Islam, Christianity, Judaism, Buddhism, Hinduism, etc. Jinn speak their own languages and they can learn the language of men to communicate with them. Jinn have their own ethnicities and tribes. That which differentiates jinn from mankind is their unique powers and abilities, bequeathed by our creator as a test. Like man, jinn also will be held accountable for their actions will answer to Allah the Most High for their final reckoning, destined to either enter paradise eternally or the hellfire. By learning and knowing the powers and special abilities of the jinn, man often comes to comprehend many of the mysteries that linger around us. One such power that jinn possesses is the ability to transform to any physical form of their appearance, except for the appearance of our last and final prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Jinn can appear as humans, animals, trees, and other objects. In many aspects of their world, jinn are like mankind in that they have their own laws, civilization, scholars, etc. Jinn eat and drink, they marry, they procreate, and they die. Their life span, however, is much longer than ours, and unlike us, they can bear thousands of children. They can fly. Jinn do not have unlimited power in the same manner that God does. Therefore, their 